If you let them chase you, they'll chase you. When one is chasing, technically the other one is running away. It's actually very logical and super simple. It's quite obvious there's a few things that we need to be mindful and have an understanding in order to let them chase us. What is up guys? Hope you guys are having a glorious day. The sun is shining, baby. Let's go. Let's dive into the video and my name is Show. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the dynamic of chasing and attracting. This video is very personal as well when you know things start changing within my life from chasing everything, the girls, money, and whatever it is, to actually attracting it and welcome the things that I wish to have. And when we are chasing, we are so in rush. We are trying to get right now, like Amazon Prime. I want it right now. Get it tomorrow. No, not even tomorrow. Get it now. Slow it down. You have to slow it down. Life became from pure survival to spiritual and emotional survival in this modern society. What I mean by that is that it used to be, obviously back in the days, back in history, it used to be a human as an animal to survive and to live fully, to live totally worth whatever that they have at the moment. But right now we have too much stuff, too much option, too much things and people. That clearly became a distraction from, it's supposed to be resources to make ourselves and to make our life better. But clearly now is a distraction. This is literally you surviving your emotional and spiritual aspect from this modern society. And look, today, I felt like shit. I fucking felt like shit. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, you know. But I do know where it comes from. I do know everything that makes me feel this way because I'm making me feel this way. Fundamentally, I'm, I'm the reason who's, who's, who's feeling this and who's making me feel this way. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, this is literally what's happening within me, whether the world is on my side or not. It's just me interpreting or conditioning myself to feel this. And we all have these days, right? Like, even though, even though the yesterday was so fucking great and then somehow things went wrong and I start to feel like shit. And essentially, that's my choice to feel like shit. But still, I actually, you know, came out with this idea of like YouTube and since in 2022, I want to put so much effort into uh, YouTube and, uh, you know, all the, all the platforms like Instagram and TikTok to, to put the value in, in some ways. So that's why I say don't rely on motivation, rely on the purpose and rely on the discipline. You know, whether you feel like shit or not, execute it anyway. It doesn't matter your mood because mood changes. And if you can only perform when your mood is good, probably like half of your, half of your life is, is not in the mood. And honestly, the dynamic of chasing and attracting, it's, it comes down to the patience. The patience is essentially the movement of the consciousness without moving your physical body. So it's the pure intention. Like, even though you have to be patient, you have to stay still, knowing that you want this and that right now. You have a certain trust and you have a certain intention and attitudes towards to this whatever that situation or material things or condition of people that you wish to have right now. And I believe that is patience. It looks like that you're not doing anything. You're just like staying still and like waiting for, for the opportunity to come. But when you actually change the lens to see the world of this patience from the point of view of the divine presence, then that's actually constant movement of your consciousness, your intention, your trust, your belief, not just waiting for something to come to you. That's why we call it attracting, right? It's a legit power of the energy that is pulling something material or energetic or like whatever it is into your zone of energy. Look, we all know that most of the people nowadays have fucking ADHD, like including me. You know, if I don't meditate, my mind is everywhere and I can't just fucking focus one second. And that's most of us. The whole idea, the concept, the verb of the attracting essentially is that you are 
being so careful in a spiritual manner so that the, none of the things that really doesn't matter fundamentally in your life, you just could care less. And then everything, like literally everything, will gravitate to your soul and love because of that manifestation with the state of being, not you leaning into the materialistic uh, state of being. The more material you become, the less spiritual you are. So it's really about being patient. So as I said, being patient does sound like that you're just like waiting and do nothing. But it is, like I said, a constant movement of your consciousness and your intention. And that state of being is the manifestation that we all need to actually, you know, execute this like attracting things and people, like whatever it is. First, just step back and let go of the idea of what you already know, like the concept and idea of anything, anything that you know. Just, just let go. And you have to educate yourself to internalize your life itself rather than experiencing only what's out there, but actually experiencing what's within. And then remind yourself every single present moment that you're awake, that you're consciously awake, that how you feel and think and then behave into the new way of that you actually want to feel and think and behave. Your state of being is the gravity itself. Look, the, the ground is not going to stop, gravitate everything in this world and throw us into the fucking space because they're not being patient. So the same goes us. Whenever you are, whatever you are, it is the essentially the power within us and it's already unlocked whether you like it or not. And you are gravitated towards to the goals of your intention and things are gravitated towards to your state of being. All right, with that said, it's really about the idea and the concept of, of how we are and being patient. I do hope this will expand your consciousness and awareness so that you can have another realization or, you know, to shift your focus into something that positive and beneficial to yourself. And thank you so much for watching guys. I really, really appreciate it. In 2022, I'm going to put so much effort in YouTube. So I appreciate your support. Subscribe and notification bell. If you like the video, click the, the thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you have any request, hit that. Hit the shit on in the comment. I'll definitely look through. Anyway, love you guys. Have a glorious day. Ciao. Live your life like a movie.